Experiment. This is called the Jam Jam, um, and it was prompted by a discussion that went on on Facebook by a very good friend of mine, Susan Clark, who had done a bit of an illicit jam swap with a good friend. And um, when I say illicit, it wasn't really, but it's just um, that whole notion of trading jams as just being an act of love, and it sparked quite a nice long uh, discussion on Facebook about jam and uh, different. Uh, people's favourite jams, different kinds of jams for different seasons and it actually then led to a discussion with the Keel Women's Choir. They have an online Zoom session once a week and that was the kind of topic for the discussion this week. So I just felt compelled to write a little piece using some of the bits of text that came up in this online discussion about people's preferred jams. And Susan's line at the end of her little story, I have posted the story up with her permission because it's such a lovely story. And I have used the line at the end of it as the sort of starting point for this jam jam. And her line was jam. Well, it's just jam though, isn't it? It's just jam, isn't it? Really? But actually, it's a whole lot more than just jam. So that's the little kind of ostinato line. And this is one of those pieces that just builds up lots of little lines on top of each other. So if you just want to sing one of them all the way through, that's fine. You can swap between the two. And it's a piece, I suppose, would be better with a big group of people. Lots of people can take different parts um, and then just mix them around and drop some in and drop some out. But I'll just run through the parts individually. Then I've done a little arrangement of it and you can just join in with that. And if you have got any favourite jams, then let me know. Maybe we can add them in again. So the first little line just goes like this. And this is... This is the one that's based on Susan's um, line. So the first one, there's a little clap in this, it goes, Jam, it's just jam, though in it. 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 And that's all that one is. Then there's a lower harmony underneath that one. Same words, same rhythm. Jam, it's just jam. Though in it, jam, it's just jam, though in it, jam, it's just jam, though in it, jam, it's just jam, though in it. So those two fit together nicely. Then on top of that, we then add in lots of these different preferred jams. I'm just going to refer to my notes on this one because it's still hot on the press. So, Mm, no question, no argument, homemade raspberry jam. 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 So I think that's a lot of people's favourite. So that was the uh, next line to add in. And then under that one, somebody to say raspberry, great, but actually that's okay in the summer. But in the winter, you need black currant. So underneath that one, we have in winter, it has to be black currant. In winter, it has to be black currant. In winter, it has to be black currant. In winter. It has to be black currant. So that's the next line. And then this has been very much in four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four, four crotchet beats in a bar. The next phrase is actually four beats in a bar, but we're going into more of a 12 8 feel. So it'll just swing a little bit more. And this one goes. Victoria Plum goes nicely on toast. 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 So the beat is still regular, like that, but we're just adding there a dotted crotchet beat instead of a crotch beat. Victoria Plum goes nicely on toast. Victoria Plum goes nicely on toast. Okay, so, and then keeping in that 12-8 feel. Anything without those dreaded pips and seeds. Anything without the dreaded pips and seeds. Anything without the dreaded pips and seeds. Anything without the dreaded pips and seeds. I know it's 
some people like their jam without any pips or seeds in it so that's for you and then over all that we have a very long line and this was just kind of quite a lovely poetic line the words being a fine delicately fragrant crab apple spread thin on cold crisp toast Sounds great that one and that one just lies over the top of all of those so a fine delicately fragranced crab apple spread thin on cold crisp toast a fine delicately fragranced crab apple spread thin on cold crisp toast so that's the kind of long melody that sits on top of all the others. So those are the parts individually. If you listen to the recording, it's fairly straightforward. They come in one by one and I've dropped the volume of all the backing parts each time a new one comes in so you can hear the new one coming in. And then to finish it off, the cold crisp apple, uh, the uh, crab apple <laughs> spread on the cold crisp toast, that's the final one to come in and that is sung through three times. And then there's a little two, three, four, and then everybody joins in at the end with jam. It's just jam, though in it. Jam, it's just jam, though in it. And we just pile the harmonies up on that and just sing that to finish it off. So jam, it's just jam, though in it. So this is ideal as a kind of, as I say, a little jam piece, really. Structurally, it could be anything you like. You can build up the parts in any order. You could start with a very long phrase and then bring in the shorter ones. It's up to you, really. And so if you've got quite a few of you, obviously not at the moment, but when you are back with the groups, it could be that, you know, you have some parts dropping in and out. Um, just maybe two lines on top of it, should isolate two lines. Um, but I say, for the moment in the arrangement, I've just built all the parts up one by one gradually, then stop them all, and then we all finish with jam. It's just jam, though, in it. So thank you very much to Susan Clark for initiating that. I don't think she realised quite what she'd unleashed on the world when she wrote her little Facebook post about her illicit jam swap. But it's just lovely to be able to respond to things like that that are happening in very much in real time and having the time and the space to do it. So I hope you enjoy the jam jam and let me know your favourite jam and uh, if there's any, uh, yeah, any unusual jams, then I'd like to know about them. Okay, thank you, bye. Jam, it's just jam, though in it. 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 Jam. It's just jam, though in it. No jam, question, no argument, jam, homemade raspberry jam. It, no question, no argument, jam, homemade raspberry jam. It, no question, jam, no argument, jam, homemade raspberry jam. It, no question, no argument, jam, homemade raspberry jam. No it, no no jam, jam in it, no in winter, it has to be black currant. In winter, it has to be black currant. Victoria plum goes nicely on toast. 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 Anything with other dried pips and seeds. 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 A fine, delicately fragrant crab apple spreads in on cold Christmas toast. A fine, delicately fragrant crab apple spreads in on cold Christmas toast. A fine, It's just jam, though in it. Jam, it's just jam, though in it. Jam, 
It's just jam, though in it, jam. It's just jam, though in it.